Hey everybody, welcome to Kids Guitar with Miss Caitlin. Today we're going to learn all about this instrument. We're going to learn the parts of the guitar, we're going to learn how to hold a pick, and we're even going to learn three chords that we can strum along to this week. So if you've got a guitar at home, go ahead and grab it and let's get to learning. The first thing we're going to do today is learn about the different parts of the guitar. The first big part of the guitar is the body. Then we have the neck and then we have the headstock. You can kind of think of it like a person, head, neck, and body. In the body of the guitar, we have our sound hole. It's the round hole here in the middle. Now without this sound hole, the guitar really wouldn't make much sound. Over on the neck of the guitar, we have what we call the fretboard. This is the board on top of the neck of the guitar, which has these silver bars, which are called frets. Now this is the part where we place our fingers to actually make notes. On the headstock of the guitar, we have tuning pegs. This is where the string wraps around and we can tune it to make it sound really nice and pretty. Now the guitar has six strings. We're gonna number these strings from one to six. Our first string, the string one, is gonna be this tiny string. Now string six is gonna be the bigger string. So we're gonna call it one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're going to do is learn how to hold a guitar pick. A guitar pick is this little thing right here that we use to play the strings. We can either pluck the strings or strum through the strings. Now the guitar pick is shaped like a triangle and has three edges. We want to play the strings with the pointiest tip right there. So that's what we're gonna strum through the guitar with. So what I like to do is I place it in between my index finger and my thumb, and then we play it like that. So it should look like this. Now, I like to think of holding the pick as if we're holding a baby bird, and this is the beak. Now, if we hold the baby bird too tight, it's not gonna be good for the bird. If we hold it too loose, the bird's gonna fly away. So we wanna have this happy medium between holding it tight and holding it loose. We don't want it to feel too tense. Now that we've learned how to hold the pick correctly, let's go ahead and try to pluck the sixth string of the guitar, just open like this. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna start strumming along to some chords. The first chord we're gonna to learn today is our G major chord. This chord is gonna use two fingers, our middle finger and our pinky finger. We're gonna place our middle finger on this top string of the guitar on the third fret, just like this. Then we're gonna place our pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. Okay, it should look like that. Now, once you have your fingers in place, you're gonna take your hand with your pick that we now know how to hold, and we're just going to strum through all the strings. Just like that. Great. Now we're gonna learn our C chord. Now the C chord is gonna use three fingers. We're going to start with our ring finger on the fifth string of the third fret, then our middle finger on the next string down on the second fret, then we're going to skip a string and then place our, our index finger on the first fret of the second string. So it should look like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and strum through. There we go. The last chord we're gonna learn is our D major chord. This chord also uses three fingers. We're going to start from this first string first. We're gonna play our middle finger. We're gonna put it on the second fret of that first string, then our ring finger on the third fret, and then our index finger on the second fret. So it should look like that. There we go. Now here are the three chords that we learned so far today. We have our G major chord, our C major chord, and our D major chord. Great job today. We learned a lot. We learned the different parts of the guitar, we learned how to hold our pick the right way, and we learned three chords and are now able to strum along with those chords. If you have any questions or if you ever want in-person lessons or lessons through Skype with me, the link is at the bottom of this video. Great job, guys.